has been collecting classic cars for more than 50 years. He has more than 100 of them. They are his pride and joy, but this weekend he is selling 94. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh traveled to Montgomery County today to see why people from all over the world will be paying very close attention to this auction. We first met Bill Coyote Johnson at his Red Oak home back in May, where he had hundreds of classic cars just like these scattered throughout his property. Now 94 of them have been cleaned and shined and here at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds ready for auction. We were there as one of the last classic cars up for auction is lowered into place in the car lineup. For Coyote Johnson, this represents decades of finding, buying and restoring. Each one of the cars holds memories, feelings that will not drive off with a new buyer. Memories, you always will keep them. Yeah. And, um, and it's always nice to relate it to something, you know, like your car, your girlfriend. Johnson expects the car auction to attract a few thousand people. He says these are in-demand cars. Yeah, this one's a very popular one, you know, the, the 68 Charger. You know, we got a lot of interest in that. The Charger body, but that's the last year they made that style in the Super B. Here's a rare, rare one. It's a 64 Chevy Malibu SS convertible. It's only, I'm the second owner. Johnson is not the only person expecting this car auction to hit overdrive. We've been getting about 30 to 60,000 people to a website a day. Yvette Vanderbrink is one of the auctioneers. Okay. At 25, at 25, now 27, 5. She expects online bidders now. from around the world and people in person from around the nation, all in an effort to retrieve a piece of their past. Now the kids are gone. The I graduated college, you paid for college, and now they're trying to buy back the car that they all that got away. While he's keeping 10 for himself, 94 of Coyote Johnson's cars are getting away. But this may not be his last auction, telling us he may just start collecting the cars all over again. In Red Oak, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. You go, Coyote. Well, the auction is set for Saturday morning at 9 o'clock at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds in Red Oak. It is a no-reserve auction, folks. That means there is no minimum bid and all of the cars, all 94, will be sold.